Link 2012. Hello everyone, welcome back to Bit Heroes Data Mine Update. Today we're going to be going over the uh, what is it? October November 30th update. Alright. So, the first thing I want to tell you guys is that I will be gone for the entire month of December, so you won't be expecting many videos from me or these update videos, but I will start as soon as I get back to school in January. Alright, so, we have a few new assets. The most notable one is this gem bundle, because we haven't seen it in-game yet. But from my understanding, is that the current holiday gem bundle, so the Christmassy one, will not be available during most weeks, and so that's just an exclusive one, and this is the one that will be used instead simply because they're close together in the code and uh, just very similar. Alright, so we have a bunch of new consumables. We have the material bundle, which we haven't seen yet. We have the, or actually yeah, we may have seen it last week. Uh, I, I can't remember for sure. All I know is it's new. Uh, we have the grind bundle, which I don't think we've seen either. We have the holiday, or we have a new grind bundle. There's been previous ones in the past. We have this holiday gem bundle, which we've seen in game. It's currently out there. You can go check it out. It gives you hundred dollars worth of gems for fifty dollars and a stat point to boot. Alright, we've also got the uh, Winter Quest. The Winter Quest is an interesting consumable. I'm pretty sure that it's what you get when you go to Gramps. Basically, if you go to Gramps this week, you will get, I think it's three hot cocos as well as some other dandy things. Just go up to him, you'll get that. I'm pretty sure that's what's considered the Winter Quest. If not, we should see it this week. Alright. Uh, although, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just that. The daily bonuses for this week are doubled. In addition, well, I guess I already told you guys about Gramps. Go get them. Get that hot cocoa. Boost everything for, I think it's 75 hours. The town has changed to a winter theme. Everything in the town is winter themed. Even all the little, like, signposts and stuff is pretty cool. Go check it out if you're always chilling in your guild hall as the music is playing right now. Alright. Also, the, so... Going into technical changes, there weren't a lot of technical changes this week. The only one was that the gem bundle from a mo month ago uh, changed to obsidian bundle, and vice versa. So the obsidian bundle, it's not a gem bundle, right? Did I get that in the right order? I hope I did. <laughs> yeah, the obsidian bundles now, the gem bundle was changed to the obsidian bundle, so we can confirm the obsidian bundle from last time was gem bundle. In addition, people were telling me, obsidian orb last week, that was just the gem orb. So, that, that's just clarification for you guys this week. Of course, what you're all waiting for is the sales. This week in sales, we're going to have a defense accessory sale from the 3rd to the 4th. From the 5th to the 7th, we're going to have your typical charge energy tokens, badges, and tickets. That sale will be interesting in that the backgrounds will be winter themed. Although, I mean, who really cares about that? <laughs> and just useful information to know. Just quiz your friends on that. Unfortunately, I have not been able to access those assets. Although I am getting better at accessing assets, I should be able to access every single new asset soon. I just need to figure out how to hack things properly. Um, and I, I have been able to find more assets in the code, so I can pull up familiar assets now. And I'm pretty sure equipment assets. So when the next update does come out, I should be able to get you guys all the information on new ancients, etc. Alright, so I think that's about it for this week's update. Pretty short, but still pretty fun. Uh, if you found this worth your time, please leave a like, otherwise leave a dislike. Go have an awesome day, and uh, don't forget to contribute. <laughs>